the average healthy heart beats 42 million times per year. In a heart with sick sinus syndrome, this number might decrease to 30 million or even fewer heartbeats. What happens to the body when 12 million heartbeats go missing? That represents 2.2 million liters of freshly oxygenated blood that the brain and other vital organs will not receive. The organs are literally starving for oxygen. Individuals with sick sinus syndrome might suffer from fatigue, dizziness, and confusion. The amount of freshly oxygenated blood delivered to the brain and body is a function of how fast the heart beats and how hard the muscle contracts. Patients with sick sinus syndrome cannot increase their heart rate when needed, and therefore need a device like a pacemaker. Most pacemakers use a sensor called an accelerometer to sense motion and to know when to dynamically increase a patient's heart rate, for example during walking and exercise. But accelerometers aren't able to sense gentle motion, like riding a stationary bike. Biotronic devices have an additional sensor called closed-loop stimulation, or CLS, that tracks changes in the heart's contraction. This means that any time the body requires more oxygen, regardless of activity level, CLS can immediately detect it and turn that into more heartbeats. CLS is a self-regulating system, like the air conditioning in your house. If the room reaches the set temperature, the AC thermostat senses it and the cooling will turn off. Similarly, when the appropriate heart rate is achieved, contractility will naturally decrease and CLS will respond by allowing the heart rate to fall back down. Also like the air conditioning, a doctor can simply switch CLS on in a biotronic device and the system will function without further inputs or intervention. Interesting, you say, but how do you know it works? Because at Biotronic, we tested it in clinical trials. And because CLS is the only algorithm to ever receive FDA labeling for appropriate response to physiologic demand and acute mental stress. But what does that actually mean for a patient? It means that while a patient is doing a challenging puzzle, his heart rate will increase slightly to provide more oxygen to his brain. It also means that Mr. Smith, who had a heart attack last year and just received an ICD, can get on a stationary bike three times a week. Basically, it means that all these patients can get back to enjoying their lives. CLS has already benefited millions of pacemaker patients. Now, patients requiring a defibrillator will also be able to experience the advantages of this unique innovation.